Hey everyone, I've got some exciting news that I've been waiting to share with you. As of tomorrow, the 12th of December, I'll be sharing 12 messages on the lead up to Christmas on 12 Days to Fruitfulness. So I'll be sharing with you 12 different messages on the lead up to Christmas, starting from tomorrow, the 12th of December. And every message will be, it will build on the last message that I shared to be able to help encourage you in your journey. So these are some of the things that I'll be covering with you. So on the 12th of December, starting off, we'll be talking about the goodness of God and learning about God's true nature and character. Then I'm going to share on how God created you to be fruitful. He didn't create you to be barren or to miscarry or to be sick, but to be fruitful. I'm then going to share how you can personally know God's will for your own life in your own journey. And uh, then we're going to talk about authority, how you can start exercising your authority over your own life and your circumstances. And then we're going to start covering the cross and how Jesus has redeemed you from all sickness and disease. And these messages aren't just for those that are wanting a breakthrough in the area of infertility and pregnancy and and uh, childbirth but for anyone that needs encouragement in any area of healing so I pray that what I share will be a blessing to you and I'm also going to cover then we're going to define what ask and receive means according to the Greek words in uh, certain scriptures and then we're going to just show you how how practical way how to do that and then I want to start talking about the simplicity of faith and how faith it doesn't earn you anything and once you know what faith is and how it works and how it doesn't work it really it, for me it uh, was a real blessing to my journey so I pray that what I share with what I've learned will help you as well and then I'm going to talk about you know how to let go and let God you know we hear it said but you know putting it into practice you know knowing what that looks like you know <laughs> for us personally can be a bit of a challenge so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and then what it means to rest uh, in Jesus and his finished work and not you know just to get rid of all that striving and uh, just uh, you know that just an inner drive that causes us to continue to do you know just so we can rest find Jesus in our situation and learn how to rest in who he is and then I'm going to talk a little bit about God's timing we're going to, we're going to rightly divide what God's timing is for children for healing and other breakthroughs and then I'm going to share how you can let God show you this personally for yourself how he, how you can let God reveal himself to you and show Show you how to walk in your breakthrough and then we're going to finish with talking about Jesus and his finished work the simplicity of what he's done and how you can experience that and see that outworking in your life so I'm looking forward to sharing these 12 messages with you and it's my goal or it's my my heart cry I guess on my prayer for you that what you will learn throughout this little mini series is that you will discover how to be established within the new covenant you'll be able to define what's the old and what's the new that you'll understand the simplicity of faith and how it works and that's just so uh, the foundations really of Christianity but I think it's so important that we understand that you'll also learn by the end of this little mini series how to rest in Jesus finished work how to stop striving in your own ability and how to rest in Jesus ability because you know we all want that don't we I know this, and that's a, not a destination it is a lifestyle my friends so we need to learn some of these things and, and you know sometimes we can see in God we see things as goals or destinations but really they're not this is a journey it's a lifestyle of learning how to live and walk with Jesus every day of our life and because it's not just you know for a baby or for healing it's because when you find out who God is personally for yourself then healing comes fruitfulness flows and you'll be transformed in every area of your life and that that is my plan and that is my purpose for wanting to share these messages with you we're also going to talk about your position within the kingdom and that you'll know your authority and how to use it so I'm hoping and I, that you'll be blessed by this series and I'm really looking forward to starting them to, with you tomorrow 
And it's also my prayer that through this series that you'll find hope, be encouraged, and that you will experience fruitfulness in every single area of your life. So I'm excited to begin tomorrow on the 12th of December, 12 days before Christmas, to share a message of hope and encouragement every day for you. And I've also got something else that I'm excited to share with you. I have created a little workbook to go with this series. So in the next couple of days, I'll have this uploaded on my uh, Cartloom, my uh, web store, for you to be able to download if you're interested. So this is a close now to 100 pages, A4 pages. And what this workbook has is all my uh, presentation notes, all put in an A4 format for you. Um, so you can either um, download an ebook or a PDF format and then uh, on just through your, um, if it's iOS or um, uh or Android, that you're able to annotate and add your own notes or you can print it out and uh, do it the old-fashioned way with uh, writing notes with pen and paper. So this will have my 12 full lessons, my presentation notes, and just so you can have a copy for yourself. So once you've watched these messages, that you'll have something to keep with your own personal uh, notes and information and revelation that you've got while watching this series. So this little uh, workbook, it will be $9.95 uh, Australian dollars from my website, which you can find it on neritawalker.cartloom.com. So I'm looking forward, starting from tomorrow, the 12th of December, of sharing this little mini series with you. So until then, I'll see you next time.